Hey, so I was transplanting the rest of the tomatoes and I noticed that my tomatillos were in the same tray. So a lot of people don't plant tomatillos because they don't understand what to do with them. Man, you're missing out if you don't do tomatillo sauce. Seriously, if you like uh, Latin foods or Mexican food in any kind of way, um, I can help you make this tomatillo sauce that you will love. So anyone who knows me who has had that sauce, please post on here to promote the growing of tomatillos. If you can just do three bushes of them um, and they do well, you can can like 25 cans of it. Now I still have some from 2016 that are incredible. Um, I actually took a chef's recipe years ago and kind of modified it a little bit. I actually put cilantro, parsley, um, I'll give you the recipe later. But anyway, if you're planting tomatillos, uh, great. If you're not, you might want to try to if you like that kind of food. Um, tomatillos, so when you're transplanting them, they get really lanky. Tomatillos are a little different than tomatoes, the plant itself, because they're, they're thinner. They're a thinner, kind of less bushy plant when you're growing them. Now, this one, again, you know, it's... Uh, stronger look at stronger than a tomato but it's still tall and lanky and it will grow that way it will grow in this pot and hang over actually a little bit before I get it into the actual ground because it gets really tall and thin leafed at first where tomatoes will bush out a little more right but just try tomatillos that's all I wanted to say I, I forgot to bring that up whenever I was doing transplanting tomatoes uh, there's purple and green but they all taste the same there's purple green and yellow uh, the purple ones are beautiful. I plant them every year because when they pop out of their leaf top, they're so beautiful. Um, they all taste the same. When you cook them down in a jar, the purple goes away. You lose the color in the jar, but at least they're beautiful in the plant, and they produce really beautiful flowers too, okay? They, they're taken care of kind of like tomatoes. For whatever reason, in a hoop house, they do require more water than a tomato, so be careful. Watch them carefully because they do need more water. Um, maybe they need more water where I grow them because I grow them on the end where the wind is coming in the, in the greenhouse a lot more. So that could be it. See what I mean? Everything's so different based on where you plant something and where you live. So tomatillos, thumbs up.